To find the molecular geometry of NH3, we'll first look at the Lewis structure. We want to visualize those three hydrogens in that lone pair of electrons there spreading out as far away from each other as they can, and that will give NH3 its shape or molecular geometry. And that's going to look like this right here. In essence, those valence shell electron pairs around the hydrogens and then that lone pair of electrons above the nitrogen there are going to repel each other, and that's going to give NH3 its shape. In this case, the shape is trigonal pyramidal, sometimes called trigonal pyramidal. We can also use the AXN notation to determine the molecular geometry of NH3. A, that's the central nitrogen there. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to nitrogen, and we have three of those. And N, that's the number of lone pair electrons. We have one lone pair of electrons. So we can either memorize that AX3N is trigonal pyramidal, or, if we're allowed to, we can look it up on a table. So if we go down here, we can find AX3N right here, and that is trigonal pyramidal, and also the bond angles are 109.5 degrees. So that's the molecular geometry for NH3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.